This video shows what mid ordinance distance does for you, as well as the distance between uh, vertices. So here I have two simple polylines in my drawing, and I have a surface called mid ordinate distance. And I'm going to add both of those as break lines. And so I'm going to use the default values of 100 and 1 foot for the mid ordinate distance, and hit OK, and then select my two polylines. I'm going to change the surface style to show triangles. And here I can see that it's added some points along here. So what the mid-ordinate distance is, is it's the distance from the midpoint of this triangle to the curve here. So if I draw a line from that point to the center, and then I'm just going to extend it. And if I look at the distance of this line, I can see that it's roughly a foot. It's a little bit off. Um, I think that's because I picked the end point of it. If I do here, it's one foot. So that was kind of the remainder one. And over here, my line, my polyline is only 47 feet. So that's why it goes from the beginning to the end. So in Land Desktop, they had a tool where you could add elevation points or vertices points along your curves and your polylines. And that would allow you to then uh, have better triangulation. But with Civil 3D, we can skip that step because we can just modify the settings when we add the break lines. So here I can say, hey, I want to go every five feet to kind of exaggerate it. Usually I go like 10 feet. And then on the mid ordinate distance, I can say, hey, I want that mid ordinate distance to be 0 0.01. And then hit OK. And then I can select my polylines again. And it's going to rebuild the surface. And this time I can see that it's added the elevation points or points that it's building the surface from at a closer interval. So rather than getting that one foot, now it's the 0 0.01 feet. And then the same thing with this polyline. I didn't have to have add elevation points. It automatically does it for me. Uh, and it's going to interpolate the elevation values for it if it was a 3D polyline. And so that's how we can add elevation points when we add our polylines and lines to a surface to get a better surface definition.